everybody, I'm Camille Miley. So I got my guitar, but I will not be singing only today. I will be doing a guitar tutorial. If you play the guitar, this will be awesome for you. If you don't, you can learn. What you need is a guitar. You need a capo on the second fret if you're gonna do it in the same uh, key as me, like being able to play along and stuff. Um, you're gonna need to tune your guitar, which I'm doing right now. By the way, forgot to say, today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to play Born Without a Heart by Fauzia. Hope I said it right. You're gonna need to know these chords. I'm not gonna spend a whole time, a whole lot of time on that. I'm gonna do more like the picking patterns and stuff like that. If you wanna play this with a pick, you can. I'm doing it with my fingers because I find it's easier. Um, and so, yeah, let's get started. The intro is F, D minor, a minor and C. The chords that I'm going to teach y'all, I did not find them myself. You know, like you type in Born Without a Heart chords and this is what it came up with. I mean, like, I feel like they're pretty accurate. For the verses and the intro, I don't know all the technical terms, so I think it's called palm muting the strings, which basically, <clears throat> I'm gonna get up closer here. So you have the fret, you have the, the strings here that come to this thing here, and you're basically gonna put your hand there, right there. So, and it creates a nice effect. It kind of makes it sound, you know, chimey. Like, instead of doing this, it's gonna be like this. It just basically mutes it. I think it sounds nice. So you're gonna do that um, for the, like I said, the intro and the verses. And we're gonna start off on F. So it's an E shape. Um, but barred on the first fret, so you move everything, you know, instead of being here, you're doing poof, like that, and then put your index finger over the fret uh, to bar the chord. My picking pattern is as follows, E, G, B, E, B, G, B. So you're kind of doing like dun 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 That's basically what I uh, like to do for this picking pattern. So you're going to be doing switch to the D minor. So you're going to be, instead of plucking the E string as your bass note, you're going to be plucking the D string and you repeat that. And then A minor. So you're moving your thumb up to A to play the bass note. C, you're going to keep your thumb on that string. There you go. I hope I was clear. <laughs> if I wasn't, goodness, I'm such a bad teacher. That's the intro. That's also what you're going to do on the verses. Um, same chords, same pattern. So let's start from the beginning and play through to the pre-chorus and then I'll teach y'all how to play that. So. y'all on that one because yeah you only repeat the pattern once oh, goodness I, i'm i'm so sorry that I, it's not clear um the pre-chorus same chords as the verse and the intro but here i like to just strum with the, still the palm muting thing going on um to give it more of a build up so you're gonna do like i don't really care what i know I like to do, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, one, two, three. I don't 
know what the counting is, so it's like one and two and three and four and 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 and then you kind of do a muted like this. So you're kind of sort of strumming, but not quite. Um, I just use my index finger for the strumming. I just do like that. And I find that works uh, pretty well. Um, of course, you can use like all your fingers or once again, the pick if you guys are doing that. So that's the pre-chorus. <laughs> and the chorus, so I'm gonna play through it and then, um, and then I'll teach y'all. Uh, how it is so let's see so I don't really care how my silence goes that's the way I I can find a pattern that's simple enough for me to teach um, so basically the chords are B flat D minor C and G minor G minor is an E minor shape but up three frets so normally it's here and so one two three and then bar on the third fret a B flat is an A shape just up one fret and then you bar the first one so it's kind of like the F is the up one fret version of E and the B flat is the up one version, what up one fret version of A. For the chorus, there are kind of two parts. Um, the first part, I just strum once. You can do the palm muty thing or not if you want. And then the second part, so you've strummed each chord once. strum this is kind of let's see one two three so one two three. I'm so sorry I should not be teaching so you kind of do First you're like Second verse is easy because it's only half of verse one. So it's the same thing, palm muty thing. I'm a naive, I know what you mean by that. I can't wake up from all these scary dreams I have. And then play through so one two three four no. Which is I wasn't born but a people, a people I'd rather be homeless than at my heart in pieces. I wasn't, I wasn't born with a heart. 
So the bridge is B flat, D minor, C, D minor, B flat, D minor, C, G minor. I will have had it written correctly somewhere. You can either prolong the strumming pattern that you were doing for the second part of the chord. You can do like, wasn't born like this, but a people. by kind of muting the strings and not really strumming all the way through instead of doing like you know kind of tone it down a little bit still doing those kind of in between strummy things and then you got the chorus again so it goes I'd rather be I do this thing when I strum where I mute the strings right afterwards. So instead of doing two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, because I don't really like how the strings it just kind of like stays there. And so like when you're changing chords, it doesn't necessarily sound super good. So what I do to also to add a little bit more rhythm, um, if you're just playing the guitar, uh, is you do. So you strum, I'm gonna get a close again. So you strum and then you mute. You don't hit, I mean like you, you, you can definitely hit it, but like. So you can do like that. Um, and I mean, it's totally up to you. You know, all of this is totally up to you. I'm just supplying the chords and a little pattern suggestion. Um, I think that we're done. That's the whole thing. Um, I will play through from the intro to the chorus and then do the bridge afterwards instead of doing verse two. And you guys can see, um, you know, what it sounds like all put together. I'll also link uh, the video that uh, my cover of this song that I did a while back. Um, it'll be somewhere and all right. So we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe and come back next week for a new video. Now. I'm an angel, tell me what you mean by I take it all and I will never give it back I don't feel sorry every time I see you cry Every time you start and I'm waiting for your tears to dry I don't really care but I never